Here's my new guppy tubs. In this video, I'll explain how I set them up and I'll also show you some of the guppies that I raise in these tubs. How's it going everyone? These are some of my outdoor guppy tubs and today I'm going to be adding some new ones. I'll remove these four tubs and replace them with more tubs in this area right here. I removed the four tubs, placed six concrete blocks on the ground, and added 2x6 lumber, more concrete blocks, 2x6 lumber, and six 27 gallon tubs. More concrete blocks, these are for the second row of tubs, 2x6 lumber, more concrete blocks. 2x6 lumber again and place 6 27 gallon tubs on top. If I need more tubs, I can place 17 gallon tubs on this bottom row. These are the 17 gallon tubs that I had already set up. It's nighttime and let's take a look at the 17 gallon tubs. This is the Dumbo Purple Mosaic Guppy and he's sleeping. A few weeks later, I set up this tent to provide some shade for the tubs. I added 2x4 lumber on the ends to provide some stability. I decided to add aeration to these tubs. There's the PVC and each tub has its own sponge filter. These sponge filters are very low maintenance and should improve the water quality. I attached that fishing lead to help keep the sponge filter on the bottom of the tub. All of the air is provided by this pump. This pump is pretty powerful. It's currently providing aeration to 29 guppy tubs and 30 10 gallon aquariums. Each one of these 10 gallon aquariums has its own sponge filter. The air is distributed to all of the tubs using this 1 half inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. It's very easy to work with. A PVC pipe cutter comes in handy and makes the job really easy. This check valve allows flow in only one direction, so water cannot enter the PVC pipe. As I mentioned earlier, the air pump is really powerful, so this threaded cap helps me bleed some of the air to reduce the strain on the air pump. Once I remove this cap, all of the air to the sponge filter is stopped and the air is all coming out through the end of the PVC. I'm going to show you how I just install it. There's a little connector to the end of the PVC, a threaded connector. Put it back on and you can just screw the cap on and adjust how much air you want to bleed. Let's take a look at some of the guppies. In this tub, I have the Platinum Galaxy Tiger Guppies. These are 9 week old males. They're from the first brood. They have black and yellow tails and patterns are starting to develop on their bodies. Here's their parents. These are fully matured Platinum Galaxy Tiger Guppies. In this tub, I have the Dumbo Red Mosaic Fire Guppies. These guppies have the red mosaic tails, large pectoral fins, and blue iridescence on their body. Going to show more guppies later in this video, but let's set up more tubs. A few days passed, and I decided to replace these six tubs with 12 tubs. I removed the six tubs, placed six concrete blocks on the ground, and I made these 2x6 wooden frames. These two pieces of wood will provide stability. The top row will have six 27 gallon tubs and the lower row will have six 17 gallon tubs. Here's the final setup. I have six 27 gallon tubs on the top and six 17 gallon tubs on the bottom. The six tubs on the bottom row are pulled a little forward so I can easily feed, see, and catch the guppies. 
Here's more of the 1 half inch PVC pipe that supplies air to each one of these tubs. I don't want the bubbles to be splashing on the house, so I place the sponge filters towards the front of the tubs. And here's the bottom row of tubs. These are 17 gallon tubs, and each one has its own sponge filter. I have many strains of guppies, so I always keep the males on the left and the females in the right tub. Same here, I got the males in the left tub and the females are in the right tub. Here's the final setup. 24 tubs and I have room to expand on this bottom row. In my previous videos, I showed all of these guppy tubs scattered around the edges of my yard, but now it's much easier to maintain because all of the tubs are in this small area. I have more tubs back here, but I really should get rid of them because I have way too many tubs for me to take care of. I'll have to move the guppies to these new tubs here. This tub has my metal gold lace guppies. This is a 30 gallon tub with a bunch of males. These are young males. You can see the metal head. I've had this strain for one year now. These guppies have a shiny metal head, a gold body and tail, and they also have a gold dorsal fin. Really nice guppy. As these male guppies mature, their tails will get a little larger. This tub has the metal black lace guppies. These are young males. This guppy is a little different because almost the entire guppy is covered in silver patterns. Here's my red Dumbo Mosaic guppies. I had this strain for two years. It's one of my favorite guppies. These guppies are also called elephant ear guppies because of their extra large pectoral fins. This is one of my guppy strains that I can sit down, relax, and watch them for a very long time. Here's one of my new guppy strains, the Blue Head Moscow. The males have a blue spot on the top of their head. The female is the larger guppy. The males also have a little tinge of blue in their body. The female is the mother and that's her two young sons. Unfortunately, their father passed away. That was how I set up all these new tubs. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.